So your dermatologist biopsied two areas that he thought were suspicious for skin cancer. This, yes, your arm and, this. and your forehead. And they came back with some cells that are abnormal that show that they're a skin cancer, but they're not a type of skin cancer that will tend to go into your body or cause any problems except where they are. So usually the treatment for that is going to be numbing it up and taking those out mm -hmm. surgically, putting it back together. You have a couple choices in getting those treated. They can be treated with radiation, but you are well enough to have surgery, so I think surgery is better. There's something called Mohs surgery that you might have heard of that we need Mohs surgery for some things, but I don't think we need it for everything. So Mohs surgery is named after a dermatologist who found a way to take off skin cancers with very, very tiny margins and almost like using a cheese curler, like how you mm -hmm. peel the cheese. And they're able to tell you the same day if the tumor or the abnormal cells are completely gone. But it can be more time consuming, it can be more expensive, and we reserve most surgery for areas we think are not going to be easy to treat or that's hard to control the margins. And I don't have those. And you don't have those. Like I send okay. people for it on the tip of their nose. I'm going. She, you're she's going? Got okay, going. <laughs> October. I, that's awesome. I heard the University of Chicago because that's yeah. my Medicare. And they're really, really good. Are they good? Yeah, they have okay. a, amazing most okay. surgery. Good. Um, on the tips of the, on the corners of the mouth or the tips of the cupid's bow or in the corners of the eye are places where I think we have to preserve every piece of tissue in order to be able to close it. But in areas like your forehead and your arm, we have extra tissue and so we should be able to take that out without problems and not have to go for moles, which Good. just takes more time, more time consuming. Some people think it has a higher cure rate, but if you're cured, you're cured. So. The disadvantage of regular surgery is that we don't know the same day if it's been completely taken out. We have to wait for the pathologist to do that. And that takes about a week because they are able to, the way they analyze the tissue, they put it in certain dyes to create contrast so they can make sure it's nowhere near any of the edges. But it's about an hour in here to take both those off and then we wait a week. And if you need it anymore taken off, it's a very short procedure okay. after that. Whereas sometimes- You're not doing that today. No, because I need to control the aliquis. Right. Because you're on a blood thinner, I have to check with your cardiologist and make sure it's okay for you to come off it for a couple of days, which you'll still be protected, but we don't want you to be able to have bleeding that I can't easily stop. Correct. Okay? So the other things we talk about is there'll be a scar, where I'm gonna take that from. We try to make it as uh, discreet as possible. At my age, I don't care. I'm gonna keep you cute. You're, <laughs> you're very cute. Um, and we also, the chance of infection is extremely low at both of these sites. We'll do a sterile procedure. You will have stitches that need to come out about a week later. And usually it's not very painful. I have people just use ice or Tylenol in these two areas because it's not a tight area. It's not somewhere where we're really worried about uh, the discomfort. Okay, so when do we schedule this? We're gonna schedule it as soon as possible. And in the meantime, we're gonna figure out how many days to come off your eloquence. Usually we only do it a day or so, and then you go right back on it the next day. Why you're on that is the pacemaker is a foreign body in your body and it, we need to keep your blood thin so it can't make a blood clot that can cause problems. But we also don't want it so thin that you're bleeding from a minor procedure. Okay? Okay. Okay.